in the summer of 2022, a couple of years after the pandemic and things started to get back to normal, I started seeing on my feeds this item called a Retroid Pocket 3. Um, I was very intrigued by it. Um, the Steam Deck had been out. I had just gotten a Steam Deck and I started to move back into the world of emulation. I hadn't really messed with emulation in more than 10 years. I think the last time I had picked up RetroArch was probably in 2013, 2014, something like that. And so I really didn't know if I was going to love emulation again. I didn't know if I was going to get back into it or if it was going to be just as terrible as I had remembered it. But I was really attracted to this product, the Retroid Pocket. But I knew that I didn't want to start with that with its price tag of $180. It just was too much for me. And so that is when I got my first retro handheld in the MiU Mini Plus. And that is what started my journey. But I did eventually get a Retroid. I got the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus, as you can see here, in the metal version. Um, which I love. I love this. This is one of my favorite handhelds. The T618 at the time was a great CPU that really kept up and provided us with some basic PS2 and GameCube emulation, which we hadn't had in the past. But now things are different. It's a couple years later. And so today we're going to take a look at the newest one, the Retroid Pocket Mini, which just arrived in our new SFC color. We're very excited to see this about this OLED handheld and talk about a few things and see if it really lives up to the hype. Anyways, stay tuned. <laughs> 